Hi. Today I want to share some songs and finger plays that my mother did for me when I was a little girl. I've always loved to sing and I know I got that love from my parents who sang to me even as I was a tiny baby and growing up. But my mother learned these from her mother-in-law um, who was really a mother to her. Um, she she taught my mom all about raising babies and kids and and how to take care of a household. And I know she she taught her quite a few of these. So the ones that I'm going to do are ones that my mom did that I heard when I was a child and that I did for my babies when they were little. And sometimes I see my babies, now that they're grown up, do them for their babies. And that's so much fun. So I'm going to do these for my grandchildren. And if you are not one of my grandchildren, welcome. This is the, my favorite. When I was little, oh, I loved this finger play called Five Little Mice. So I'm going to teach you how to do it so you can do it too. Make your hand all flat like this. This is the floor. And this hand, these are their little mice, all five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And it goes, five little mice on the pantry floor, eating breadcrumbs and nothing more. Five little mice on a shelf so high, eating on a big mince pie. The big round eyes of the kitty cat. See where the little mice are at. And quickly they jump in, they all run away and hide in their hole the rest of the day. What do you think? Did that startle you? Used to make my heart race and I would get so whew, scared for a second. So let's do it again and you do it with me. Where's your floor? Where's your mice? Five little mice on the pantry floor, eating breadcrumbs and nothing more. Five little mice on a shelf so high, eating on a big mince pie. The big round eyes of the kitty cat. See where the little mice are at. Quickie, he jumps and they all run away and hide in their hole the rest of the day. <laughs> Is it not just fun? I love that one. Another one that I learned is about, um, here's the church house. So this one's trickier if you're little, and I'm gonna have to turn sideways so you can see it, but you put your hands like this, see how they go like this? And then pull them around like that, and that's where we start. Here is the church house, and here is the steeple. Open the doors. See all the people? Close the doors while they pray. Open the doors and they all run away. What do you think of that? What do you like to do after church? Sometimes I kind of like to run away home too because I love Sunday dinner and that's always after church. Here, let's do it again. Ready? Remember, lace your hands. Here is the church house. And here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. Close the door while they pray. Open the door and they all run away. Isn't that fun? You can do that over and over and over. Those people can go to church all day long if you want. Okay? All right. I don't know where this song came from, but I loved it too. That's called Sweetly Sings the Donkey. And my babies loved it from the time they were little until they were probably five years old. They liked to sing this song, probably because it has a funny donkey sound. So Sweetly Sings the Donkey, and you put your hands together and just rock them back and forth. Sweetly sings the donkey on his way to hay. If you do not feed him, he will run away. Ea, 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 ea. What do you think? 
Does that make you think about a little old gray donkey meandering back to the corral for some hay? Let's sing it again. Ready? Sweetly sings the donkey on his way to hay. If you do not feed him, he will run away. Ea, 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 ea. Isn't that kind of fun to think about a donkey? It's not quite like a horse. They don't make as pretty of sounds to me. But they bray just like ea, just like that. The last one I'm going to do for today is down by the station. A station in this song is a railroad station or a train station. And you know what a, a train is, right? And they're big and fast. And a long time ago, trains ran on steam and they, they started differently and they were kind of made a chug, 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 chug sound. So the engineer, the person who drives the train, to start the engine, he would have to get a hold of this crank and he would turn it like this until the train started, till the engine started. So that's what it's about. Then the song tells us that there are 10 engines. That's what these are. Okay, you ready? Down by the station early in the morning, see the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master turn a little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot, off we go. What do you think? Could you hear the, the engine start and go chug, chug? And the whistle, toot, toot. Isn't that fun? And puffer bellies are what they used to call the steam engines because they put lots of billowy smoke out the top. Let's do it again. Down by the station early in the morning, see the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master turn the little handle, chug, chug, toot, toot, off we go. Isn't that fun? I'm going to think of some more fun songs that I knew when I was a little girl, and I'll record those for you to do with me, and you can sing along with, with me. Have a wonderful day.